What's up, Collective? Welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of the karmic ass clowns. I am in the backyard, getting a little bit of sun back here, charging up my crystals while I sit back here and do these readings. Yes. <coughs> so that's what I'm doing right now. Some of you, oh, fire sign. So some of you could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And what came out behind it is no trust. Okay, I'm a, I, this is going to be a nine card spread. So this may or may not resonate with your energy. This could be going on with somebody that's around you. This could be going on with someone who you recently broke up with or detached from. Okay. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. And before I get off into this reading, I'm asking everyone to hit that thumbs up button for me. Okay, we got they pay for followers, likes, and subscribes. Queen versus peasant. So the, the overall energy, the heart of this energy is a queen versus a peasant. And I feel like this has something to do with some online shit, with some sort of social media or platform someone got going on. Queen versus peasant. Somebody sped off fast. In a truck. Resisting a connection. So, collective, there's a, a fire sign out here. There's no trust. Here's an apology out here and resisting a connection. So, this is this is about. Two feminine energies. Or this peasant can be let me let me clarify this peasant. Clarify whoever this peasant is, their hex is backfire. Okay. Tell me more about this peasant going versus the, the queen and the king, the divine. Tell me more. Something ain't right about this person, about this peasant. Something ain't right. The head spot backfired. That's why something ain't right. They're codependent. So. Somebody, this peasant. She may have a truck or drive a truck. If somebody sped off around you real quick, collective, that's the peasant in your life. This person could have came to apologize to you and maybe you didn't accept their apology. You resisted the connection with them or your masculine resisted a connection with them. Masculine, if you up in here, you could have with the queen versus peasant as the heart of the energy. You could have felt as this karmic or this peasant that you're dealing with is codependent. And this 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 person, this codependent person. This peasant, they pay for followers, likes, and subscribes. That's why you were saying something ain't right with this person 
when it has to do with with their uh, social media. They they have a you like how does this person have so many likes and followers? That's because they pay for them. Mm -hmm. And see what if if some of you um, collective divine, if you have a a page out there and it was growing and all of a sudden it stopped, you could have been losing losing your subscribers. This is because this person was doing some sort of hex, but it's backfiring now. Because now it's out there, it's exposed that they pay for subscribers. Okay. Wow. So this is a karmic that reads cards. So yes, this is a karmic that reads cards, Divine Feminine. You may be a card reader too. She's not an entrepreneur. Okay. I know I know most of the divine are entrepreneurs. You do your own shit. You really don't like, you know, taking advice from others because they give you bad advice. You don't like being up under nobody telling you something to do. You like to do your own thing. Okay? But these karmics, they not. And some of you, this could be somebody's stepdaughter. That's a tarot reader. But she's a karmic. And something is over. It says to withdraw your energy because some of you haven't withdrawn your energy from this person or your person hasn't withdrawn their energy from this person. They could have been dealing with them for five years or more, five months, five weeks, five days. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, but I am outside. Shit. Ain't no sense to me to keep trying to keep sucking that shit in. I ain't got no toilet paper out here, so I had to spit. So excuse me for that. But, um, yeah, something ain't right when it comes to this codependent peasant. Okay, so tell me about this queen energy. Tell me about the queen energy. Because this peasant is feeling like she's the queen. Or this peasant is feeling like he's the king. Okay. It could be the roles can be reversed. It don't have to be. Um, it's, it's not gender specific. And this is a timeless video. Some of you have already been through this and went through this situation. Okay. There's somebody, a female out there that's competing. Okay. With you on social media. I wish I knew who they were. I wish I knew the channel so I can go and... and like they following me and looking at my channel. I want to see what their what their channel is about. You know? Are they still in my my uh content? Mind manipulation. Deceptive ass energy. Throw their ass in the tent. There is no competition. Okay. So throw their ass in the tent. Yeah, because they paying for subscribers. They paying for likes. They paying for followers. This is some sort of mind manipulation to make you believe that they're better than you when they're not. Okay? And this could be somebody's stepdaughter doing this. Someone put a hex in and uh, the hex backfired and they end up speeding off from a situation real fast. Mm-hmm. It's over for them. It's over for this karmic tarot reader. And she could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. It's over. Okay? For this fire sign. That pay for followers, subscribes, and likes. So I'm going to stop. Because the wind is starting to blow. So I have to give the cards a... A little break before it get windy just to check out how the wind gonna go out here so if this reading resonated with you and you know that there's a, a tarot reader out there that uh, is in competition 
you don't know who she is, but you know she exists. The other readers done told you. Yeah, we're going to find out in the next reading. And I'm going to use some tarot to find out who is this tarot reader that's in competition with the divine readers. Okay, peace out.